welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will be looking at two very popular concepts called collaborative learning and cooperative learning. I have been using cooperative learning for almost a decade and I've come across lots of resources where these two concepts are occasionally considered as the same and abbreviated with the same capital letters CL, adding to the confusion. However, there are many differences between both of them. So let me, Dr. Sunanda Roy, take you on a small journey to discover the major differences between cooperative learning and collaborative learning in this video titled Collaborative Learning versus Cooperative Learning. Let us begin with the meaning of the two concepts. Both collaboration and cooperation are used in group activities engaged to achieve a common goal. However, collaboration is a philosophy of interaction and personal lifestyle where individuals are responsible for their actions, including learning, and respect the abilities and contributions of their peers. So, it is more of an independent activity and a type of social behavior. Cooperation is a structure of interaction designed to facilitate the accomplishment of specific end product or goal through people working together in groups. Thus, cooperation is designed by someone else to help the group reach the goal. Now let's look at the origin of collaborative learning and cooperative learning. Both are the application of collaboration and cooperation in classroom teaching using group work. Though both these approaches have a common theoretical foundation, which is uh, Lev Vygotsky's social constructivism theory, they were propounded in different continents. Over 200 years ago, George Jordan, professor of logic and philosophy at the University of Glasgow, designed the first known collaborative learning activity for his university students. So we can trace back the history of collaborative learning to Britain, that is, having British origin. On the other hand, cooperative learning is more recent and has been popularized by two brothers, David Johnson and Roger Johnson, during the 1980s from the University of Minnesota in America. The most important difference between these two approaches is the role of the teacher during the learning situation. In collaborative learning, the teacher may or may not be present during the group activity. The teacher may be contacted by the students if they face any hurdles or to clear any doubts. It must be noted that collaborative learning may be done by students in the absence of the teacher also. For example, you may have come across a group of students or friends studying together in the library or in the canteen. They form their own groups, divide the tasks, discuss between themselves and do the activity without the teacher giving any instructions. Many a times these students may have the same level of abilities. Whereas in cooperative learning, the teacher guides the activity by declaring the activity, dividing the groups or even by assigning roles to the group members. The groups here may have varied abilities. Therefore, the teacher is comparatively more active in cooperative learning as compared to in collaborative learning. Another difference is regarding who is responsible for the learning or takes onus of learning. Since collaborative learning is more student-centered, the obligation of learning lies with the students. The teacher may not be present to monitor the learning of the students. However, in cooperative learning, the responsibility lies with both the students and the teacher for the learning to take place. This is because the teacher is more active and monitors the learning situation during the cooperative learning activity. 
Hence, collaborative learning is mostly used for older and more matured students and co cooperative learning is mostly used in schools for younger learners. Although I must mention that in my experiences, even college level professors enjoy cooperative learning activities as learners. But yes, these two approaches differ regarding the responsibility of learning. The next difference is based on who does the evaluation of the learning. Just as the students are more independent during the learning activity in collaborative learning, they are the ones who evaluate the outcome of the learning activity. You may have observed a group of students rejoicing after an examination or completion of a group task successfully. This takes place in the absence of the teacher and even may not happen in the classroom. The teacher may not be even aware of such a learning activity taking place. Thus, evaluation in collaborative learning is often done by the students themselves. On the other hand, in cooperative learning, it is done by the teacher who evaluates the activity done by the various groups in the class. Thus, the product in cooperative learning is evaluated by the teacher. Another important difference between both is in the structure of the learning situation. Collaborative learning is informal, flexible and less structured. It contains open-ended and complex tasks that have no one specific answer. Here the teacher is not the class authority but may act as a facilitator for the group action. So the collaborative activity is voluntary for the students. Whereas cooperative learning is more formal, structured and directive to students about how to work in the groups. It involves students working together to reach a common goal under conditions laid down by the teacher. Hence, it is a compulsory activity for all the students who are there in the classroom. Dr. Spencer Kagan has come up with a number of such cooperative learning structures which are fun and can be done by teachers in the classrooms. It is said that cooperative learning cannot be successful without collaboration. This actually makes sense. Without wanting to interact or respect and share one's ideas with the group, how can group activity work? Hence, researchers have stated that collaborative learning is a wider term as compared to cooperative learning. So, these were the main differences between collaborative learning and cooperative learning, ranging from their meaning, origin and role of students and teachers to its structures. While differentiating between collaborative learning and cooperative learning, I have tried to clear both the concepts also. You can visit these websites for further reading. Like in my earlier videos, the links will be given in the description box. To know more about cooperative learning, do watch my video on cooperative learning origin and concept where I have discussed the elements of cooperative learning also. You will find the link in the description box and on the screen. Hoping you liked this video. Don't forget to like, share the video and subscribe to my channel. So until next time, thank you for watching the video and take care. Thank you.